Welcome back to that series where I spend all day barely making money and having fun doing it. My name is Teddy and today I'll be taking a break from the water and the sand to do some processing. Making trade crates are a great way to earn passive income while playing Black Desert. I'll be making the Calpheon timber crates to trade them in Valencia using the desert trade buff to ensure I get the most from nothing. So let's get into this. I'm out here in Trent this time, ready to start chopping planks for crates. I don't have granite connected, Denied. so this will have to do. Before I get started processing down anything, I get all prepared. I set up workers in Trent to chop fur using Vanel's cabin node, birch from the Bree Tree Ruins node, and cedar from Lumberjack's Rest. My workers have simple B and C that increases the work speed. With a good amount of materials, it's time to process it all down. I won't be using workers for this because they are slower than I would be. I'm going to be wearing my tri Manos Craftsman clothes for more mass processing and an energy processing stone. Wearing the Venusil dress allows me to mass process while everything stays in the storage and it also increases the success rate by 3% which is perfect. My pets give me plus 5% processing experience and plus 20% life experience. This is a little bonus here, but to add to them, I will pop as many buffs as I can to make sure processing mastery is higher, and I can level processing faster because this takes a while even with mass processing. With everything processed, let's start making these Calpheon Timber Crates, shall we? Ah. Creating the Calpheon Timber Crates does take the worker some time to do. I've had workers making crates throughout the week, so I have some crates already made up and ready to show you guys how much you can make. Nice. Comment down below if you have Timber Crate being made passively while you play the game too. I'm rather curious. And if you were enjoying this, be sure to go ahead and drop a like. Now back onto these crates. Okay. Now having an artisan worker with a timber packing skill and at least Simple B will ensure two crates are made sooner to speed this up. If you aren't so lucky with hiring good workers, heading over to Bravant here in Trent allows you to use Amity to contract them. This uses a lot of energy, but once contracted, he does start with repeat ore box and can learn six more skills. Bravant is a free professional worker. Another great option is Jug Ruta from Lynch Ranch. He comes with the timber packing skill already, but sadly he is homed in Heidel and will need a wood workbench set up and the material sent there. <laughs> The last option is to use the worker exchange, but there are usually no workers for me. You might get lucky though. How about we take these crates to Valencia now to sell using the desert trading buff. Throwing all the crates on my horse does make it unusable to move, so what's the solution here? If you have a horse training flute or the celestial flute, you are able to have your horse summoned over long distances. <laughs> Doing this method, I jump on my flow ring and keep calling my horse to me all the way to Valencia. After getting to Valencia, I make sure my horse is close to the trade manager and head out to get that desert trading buff. Here is how much Calpheon timber crates are valued at before the trade buff. Bruh. Keep in mind, I don't have Valencia connected, so that does hinder the amount of money I do make. Now, very quickly before I sell this, I just want to say this is not the most efficient way to level processing or trading, and this isn't the best way to make silver. I'm just simply showing you how much I've made while selling these timber crates. Now, with that disclaimer, let's sell these crates. Selling 165 crates makes me a total of 4.9 mil. I will connect Valencia eventually and we'll just let the crates pile up. Remember, the longer you wait to trade these in, the more silver you make. If you want to see other ways to make money in Black Desert, go ahead and click on this video here. I shall see you guys in the next episode.